Hey guys, uh, recently I had had a couple of my views review, videos reviewed by some people and uh, they had mentioned that my audio was was pretty decent but there was some problems with it. Uh, one of the things that I've found since the beginning is I've struggled with getting the audio right. The audio is something that uh, we, we all tend to have probably headset mics early on and things like that and cleaning up the audio is kind of a big deal and it's a really time consuming process and I think that's why a lot of people don't do it. So I found a way to do it and I fixed my problems with audio. I got it to a point where I feel that it's, it's as good as it's maybe not as good as it's going to get but it's as good as it's going to get with my current setup with the headset mic and things like that. So I figured I would show you guys what I'm doing. Here's a recent episode of Faster Than Light that I did. And this is exactly what I will do to the audio, what, I, what I'm going to do to the audio. And this will kind of prep it for when I'm going to put out the video. So I figured you guys might like this because it might save some of you people who are doing this manually a little bit of time. And it might just make people who are having some audio issues have a little bit of an easier time. Now I'm using Windows 7 and there's a built-in tool for extracting the audio sources, at least from the AVI files that I'm recording into. I use DXTory. I record two separate separate audio streams, one for the game audio, one for my voice. So your mileage may vary depending on your setup. This works for me and it works for my setup. Using DXTory, I get two audio streams and I'm going to extract those and I'll show you. If you have Windows 7, there's a built-in extract audio stream that works perfectly. Um, if it's from an addition add-on to Windows, I don't know. I just know it's been there since I looked. So I'm going to extract that and we'll be right back after that gets done extracting and I'll show you what I do with the audio stream after that. Okay, now that that's done, we have now two files, one for each audio stream. Now in DXStory, I have it set up that the game audio is stream zero or one to you and me, but in most programs start counting at zero. So, and my mic audio is stream one. So the first thing I do to it is get rid of the noise. Now I use Audacity to get rid of the noise and I'll actually go through that process real quick and then we move on to the levelator. The levelator is where a lot of the magic happens and I'm using a bit older, I don't think I'm using the most up-to-date copy of Audacity, but my understanding is that the noise removal tool has been pretty much the same since about 1.3 or 1.6 if you get the new version, if you get the current version, you have the correct tool already, so you're good there. Now the audio stream on that was, it's about 20 minutes long, so it does take a little bit of time to, because Audacity, when you first open it, it'll ask you to copy. I always copy just to be safe, because sometimes I've had things where it distorts and I couldn't undo, and just things that go wrong occasionally. By doing it this way, you can kind of skip that whole process. So that'll be just another second, and that will be open. Any moment now. Okay, and as you can see, you know, uh, very quiet audio. My audio is almost always very, very quiet. And a lot of these peaks and valleys. And these peaks are what get you, because when you go to amplify things and make, that, make it louder, because my audio is very quiet, I have to amplify a bit. So we'll go over here, we'll zoom a little bit. Uh, Audacity's catching up at the moment. All right, and we will highlight that effect, noise removal, get noise profile. That's the first step. And what that does, and I leave a space of about a, a second to two seconds at the beginning of every video that is nothing but silence, and that catches the mic buzz from my headset mic. And I use that as my reference point for it to remove the the actual noise. And we select the entire stream and we go noise removal. And I'm going to hit OK. And then we're going to skip that part because it's going to take a few minutes because it is a longer stream. Um, but all in all, this is fairly low amount of work that you have to do for this. So through the magic of editing, we are back and we have a cleaned up audio source. Now you notice the entire thing looks a bit different and we'll zoom out a little bit and you'll see that those peaks and valleys that I was talking about are still there. Now this is a very, very, very zoomed out view of it. Um, and by having those peaks and valleys still there, we kind of get to the point where, uh, I don't know why this is not behaving very well right now. By having the peaks and valleys still there, we still need to fix that problem. So what we do is we export this and, um, and I'm going to save right over the top because I already know that's that this is 
that this works for me. The first couple times you'll probably want to make sure, especially on your system, because some systems have some slight detail differences than other people's. So I know that, uh, for my system that this has worked. I've tested it a number of times. So I'm just going to export it right over the top of the other one. I can always extract the audio stream again if something does go wrong. Until I've saved over that original file, the original video, I can still extract, so we're okay there. So, once this is done, we can close out Audacity. And I'm not going to save the changes because I've already exported, exported the file. And there we go. And now we're back. Uh, Sorry about that, I was reading a bit as I was going out. Now, when you do the levelator, the levelator, what it's going to do is it's going to level off all the audio, and I will show that to you when we're done. And it's going to put a file in here with the same name, except it's going to say st1.output.wave. And that's all you do for the levelator is just take, and drag and drop it right there. And then that is going to start to work, and we will be back, and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. It always jumps way up and then jumps way down first. So through the magic vetting, we'll be right back, and you won't have to sit through this process at Okay, we're back, and the levelator has, as you can see, 98% almost finished its job. And momentarily it'll be finished. The file's already there, but it's not complete yet. Okay, so now that the file is there and is complete... I double check it just to make sure with Audacity before I put it in, before I go and have these two streams swapped. So again, we'll just open that up. That'll take a moment and you'll see the new waveform, which um, if you've had some of the issues with your audio that I've had, might make you smile that these two, two free tools can make your job, make your life a lot easier and just make it so that you can focus a little more on content creation a little less on details of editing in the beginning because in the beginning you really kind of need to get a lot of your so here we are same file beautiful um, reason I removed the noise first is you'll notice there's still a little bit of noise here and I can go through and remove that again but I found that it isn't too bad in general um, but generally you always want to run run a quick noise removal right in the beginning just to make sure that everything gets put together fine this way. And I think this will make you guys, make your lives a little easier. You're going to be able to run a little bit more content uh, creation and a little, little bit less picking at details. And I think that's going to be a very nice thing for anyone who's having a little problems with audio. I thank you guys for watching this and hope this helps you out. And you guys have a great day, everyone.